which we are going to discuss today uh, i'll just touch upon our business incubation scheme is also there uh, wherein we give uh, you know hand holding support and mentoring support to uh, any uh, student or anybody who wants to who has a innovative idea and he wants to get a support from uh, ministry uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, mentoring support or in terms of you know place or in terms of you know uh, facilities or equipment support so we give them that is called a business incubation scheme and uh, few uh, uh, host institutions are approved in the state and uh, the, you know the students can get benefit of that incubator scheme where there is a provision of 15 lakhs rupees from government of india uh, to the incubators uh, who want to you know develop uh, innovative uh, projects uh, and you want to work on innovative ideas so friends uh, today's uh, the uh, today's webinar is a very a very nice one because uh, we would be uh, talking about the trade uh, patent and copyright especially for startups and uh, and on behalf of, i don't want to take much of a time because we will have more, more of a technical session however uh, i again welcome all of you uh, to this uh, uh, webinar and uh, because today focus is on startups and we have eminent guest faculty those who are experts in uh, startups and you know ipr issues so on again on behalf of msme di uh, government of india ministry of msme katak i welcome all of you uh, and uh, we hope that the today's uh, seminar uh, today's webinar especially on trademarks and patents would be very helpful for our startups and more uh, you know because we have more number of college students who are participating today and will also boost uh, uh, it will also be a morale boosting for them and they will come forward and they will uh, you know take assistance of uh, uh, ministries uh, schemes and they will go for startups with this again i welcome all of you thank you uh, thank you sir thank you for your uh, wonderful keynote address friends uh, we are receiving lot of questions lot of entrepreneur are asking that i have a innovative uh, i i have a innovative idea and i want to pursue as a startup what kind of guidance are you going to provide in this webinar so with this uh, i hope uh, after this webinar you will clear in all this aspect so with this i request uh, our uh, first presentation we go to technical session and our first presentation will be given by uh, sri mayank sud who is a registered patent agent uh, from cpm so i request uh, mayank sud sir uh, to kindly uh, address the uh, address the participant and make this presentation mayank sud sir hello uh mayank sud sir uh, hello hello uh, yeah yes, i am audible yes uh yes sir ha ah, ji yes so uh, uh i can, i'll share my screen here i can share my screen and the presentation yes so uh, so are are you able to see it Santoshi, are you able to see the presentation? Yes, yes, uh, Mayank, we are able to see. Yeah, thank you so much. So, uh, thank you, Santoshi, and th and I welcome all the students, all the students who are uh, wanting to know uh, as to what are startups, how trademarks, patents, and copyrights can help them uh, in uh, you know in in their startups and in their ideas. i am all here to answer uh, all those questions and i have prepared this presentation for you and i'll take while i take you through this presentation i think many of your questions will get answered right and if after the session there is a question and answer round and then uh, if you have any questions i i'll stay till the end of the session to answer any of the questions you may have so Uh, you know i will uh, and and first of all uh, thank you very much uh, so a brief introduction about myself i am mayank sur i am a registered patent agent i am also a partner in a law firm i am a lawyer by profession and also 
an engineer by my degree right i did btech and then i did llb and from the past 13 years i have been practicing as a patent attorney in india i have been handling uh, you know several i have handled several patent applications filed by indian applicants filed by foreign applicants and represented the, uh, them before the indian patent office uh, or you can say the government right in in and in helping them assisting them to register their patents so that that is my day to day job that is i have been doing for 13 years now uh, and i can tell you that uh, by from experience the over the past 13 years that i have gained is patents or trademark or copyright is a very very useful tool if you are coming up with a new idea if you are a startup it's a very useful tool and you must protect your idea by way of registering it as a patent and as we go further in the presentation i i will answer uh, as to how you can do it or what what is an idea what is a patent what is a trademark all these basic questions i will try to answer right uh so i will also uh, you know uh, uh, like to see i i think uh, there are many students here uh, so who said this this is a question to everyone open question and who said this my view is there no bad time to innovate right so uh, you know people don't have access to the screen so i will answer that this was recently said by jeff bezos he is the he was the ceo of uh, the company amazon and this statement was made by that my view is there's no bad time to innovate what does that mean so amazon is known to come with innovative solutions and everyone knows that it's one of the biggest companies in the world over the past 10 years it has grown from zero to uh, you know a huge huge company and why did it grow the reason behind that is innovation they had several ideas they came up with several ideas over the past 10 years be it software be it uh, e-commerce be it uh, you know several ideas over several technologies and that is how they were able to become the largest company one of the largest companies in the world reason behind that is that they were so innovative uh, that they used to protect their ideas and gain benefit from them i will now this is the scope of the presentation i will just briefly touch upon who are startups and benefits available to them what is intellectual property why is intellectual property important ipr tools uh, you know this bas basics about what are patents trademarks and copyrights and of course uh, add some cases to them uh, so you are able to understand uh, at a greater depth so as earlier said by by one of the fellow uh, who presenters that startup is a company who is not uh, more than 10 years old that is the first point and then startup should be incorporated as a private limited company a registered partnership firm or, or a limited liability partnership firm so that is the second point to consider that who is a startup these are the points to understand that how do you qualify to be a startup so you'll have to be a registered company as a private limited company or a registered firm or a llp third point uh, which is essential for a startup is that the annual turnover should not be exceeding 100 crores in any of the financial years uh, and the and the next point is uh, entity should not be formed by splitting you know it should not be split up from a earlier company or anything like that the fifth point which is very important to note is that it should have innovative and scalable business right there are several benefits which the government of india gives to startups and the benefits are under labor laws environmental laws intellectual property laws income tax laws etc etc several benefits and my fellow colleagues and presenters will definitely highlight about them as we go forward and main these benefits are to make sure that the startup 
concentrates on their business on the development on the innovative ideas they come up with and they do not have to dwell with these laws like labor laws environmental laws for the few starting years of their business right i will now touch upon what are the benefits under the ipr laws or the inter intellectual property laws because that is the theme of this uh, uh, presentation and mainly the uh, benefit that is the that is given by the government is so if you are a startup and you file a patent application the patent application shall be fast tracked for examination so whenever you file a examine and for startups the benefit is that it will be fast tracked the examination will be fast tracked and you will be issued a patent quite soon there have been instances which has given has issued a patent to a startup within 120 days from the filing of the application second benefit that the startups have is there is a panel of facilitators to assist in filing of ip applications so government of india has a panel of facilitators who are experts in you know uh, who, there are patent agents who know who, where to file the application how to file the application how the application should look like when it is filed what kind of an idea can be protected there are all sorts of uh, there are experts to query that you may have uh, regarding patent filing government to bear facilitation cost so whatever the cost of these facilitators is the benefit given by under the ipr laws is that the government will bear the cost for of these facilitators first point and of course there is some official fee uh, so the there how much is the rebate the rebate is 80% as compared to the other companies who are not startups right so there is a huge cost benefit further let us understand what is the what is intellectual property intellectual property is a business asset you know just like real estate it has to be defined for example a real estate or a piece of land that a person owns it has to be registered with the government authority and a piece of land can be defined you know defined by its boundary as to its one of its boundaries facing towards a river in the north or a road in the east or a, another bound another person's boundary in south and another person's boundary on the west <laughs> is defined in the registry records the a patent or any intellectual property has to be defined and uh, so it's a business asset just like a land it it's a business asset one can make use of it one one can develop maintain upgrade protect and realize the benefit out of it same way as you do with the land why is intellectual property important now very uh, you know scary slide over here but what do we see if we take it as an example that this, there is a small fish which is a small company and then there is a bigger fish or a shark which is a bigger company and then there is even bigger fish which is a you know which is having teeth so what does this slide show us that uh if the ip assets do, do not exist then sooner or later your ideas that you developed and developed a company they may be taken over by a larger company and then by even a further larger company but what happens if you are if you have ip assets or you if you have patents trademarks then that gives you teeth and even a bigger company which doesn't have teeth will fall small in front of you so it is very important to protect your ideas your patents trademarks copyrights it is very important it gives you teeth not just you know taking and and 
but taking you back to the full lines about the importance of IP. John Stewart, chairman of Quaker, he said in the year 1900, he quoted, if this business was split up, I would give you the land and bricks and mortar, and I would take the brands and trademarks, and I would fare better than you. Right? If we see this, the second statement said by the, the president of Coca-Cola company, if each building, factory, office, car, truck, owned would burn down in a moment, the company could get back to operational rebuilding and buying everything due to the value and profits generated by its intellectual property, namely the income generated by its trademarks, franchise contracts, patents, licenses, etc. So what does these statements tell us that the importance of IP or patents, trademarks and are having far more value as compared to the physical assets that they may have, right? Can we? Several forms of LMS tools of IP, right? And these are all for the benefits of the them to protect their ideas, their business, their name and the so it's geographical indications and plan the right right we will talk about uh, today we will talk about uh, you know briefly about patents trademarks design and copyright understand what are patents. So it's a monopoly right. What, a, what is a monopoly right? That if you have a patent in your name for your invention or for your idea, then the rights over that can be solely enjoyed by you unless they have your consent or your permission. By the government, for disclosure of invention to the owner or his assignee for a limited period of time and the limited period of time is 20 years. So you get rights over your invention, you can get rights over your invention for a period of 20 years. It's a negative right. Why do we say it's a negative right? That because it's by using, by if you have a patent, then you can stop others from using your invention without your consent. So you can stop others. It doesn't give you a benefit to enjoy the benefits of your invention, but you can stop others from invention without territorial right. Very important to note this point. If you and you think it is an idea which no one in the world has earlier come, uh, and it's a it's a very in the technology and should be fitted across the world, then you must protect your idea, not only in India, but any other country where you think it will be beneficial to you. The reason behind that, that patent is a territorial right. If you file a patent application in India, you get rights only in India. And if you want to protect or if you want to explore or exploit your invention, uh, uh, then you must file a patent application in those countries as well. So, very important point. And it's a statutory right, simply means that it's a right you know, granted under a statute, under a law passed by the Indian Parliament. And the purpose is mainly to encourage innovation and industrial growth, right? So, see a patent certificate that. Uh, get a patent in the United States of America, there is a similar certificate issued by the Indian, if you get a patent in India. What do we see uh, across and even in it, it's very much prevalent, it was very much prevalent that 
the university that the university students the uh, the master students the doc doctorate students they will go and publish their uh, ideas and not protect them as patent is right whether to publish or to patent the answer to that is you know if you do not patent file a patent for your application and simply publish it in a publication then you expose your idea to the world and you do not protect your idea and you, you don't have any rights over the idea that you may have so it's better that you do not publish it first the first thing that you should do is file a patent application and after that you can publish it then you can reap profits out of it and then let it perish when you may want to is uh, you know again simple first file an application before publishing or marketing the product patent is the best publication publish frequently if innovation is a mere workshop so if you come up with incremental inventions over the same idea again and again it is best to keep publishing frequently incremental inventions and what are the rights conferred by the patent prevent others from making using offering for sale selling or importing infringing products in the country where the patent uh, was granted sell these rights or conclude licensing agreement contracts and how much is the time period like uh, we said it is 20 years from the date of filing the patent application three basic requirements for getting a patent is that it should be now in one step that it should be technically advanced there should be some kind kind of technical advancement in your idea over the existing knowledge over the existing knowledge that is there in the world industrial app, applicable there should be some application of it it in the industry it should not be something which doesn't uh, you know apply in the industry hey uh a trouser with a with three legs in it there's no use of that right few examples if you see on the screen is four types of needles and if you see there is very minor difference in these four types of needles on the top left corner is used for simple hand you know stitching but and the difference on the right hand corner is slightly different from the needle on the left hand corner what is the difference in the left hand corner the eye of the needle where the thread is inserted is at the head side or it's at the back side of the needle but on the right hand side is where the thread is the tip of the needle see very very small difference but if we see how this needle on the right hand side on the top corner with change brought a huge change to the industry hand side cannot be used in the sewing machines but the needle on the right hand side can be used in sewing machines thus helping people to stitch clothes much faster right very very small difference the needles on the uh, on the bottom again are used for different purposes the right hand side bottom is for uh, fishing is used in fishing books to catch fish and on the left hand side it is used for i think for dent dental purposes same way with the scissors there are several scissors we see uh, we have seen over the years and all these though they look to be same but they are different they are for different use and it, it may not be possible or it uh, even if it's possible it may not be easier to use one needle in place of another 
So there is a small difference, and someone came up with these small differences, and thus, thus protected them as patents and reaped benefits out of them. So this is a bit about patents, and there are several patents we see. Uh, we have seen over, uh, you know, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, the presentation which I am giving on my laptop has several hundred patents. Uh, the phones which we use in our daily lives have several thousand patents. And we have seen the advent of technology, how it has advanced, how it has grown. Uh, 20 years back, we used to speak on a landline phone before we used to make it to our uh, relatives and friends and then used to get connect. For that, we used to send a telegram small message to another person at another place. But from telegram, from a trunk call, from landlines, and from the rudimentary mobile phones, which used to have only and only uh, calling, voice calling. Now we see that we can video call each other. We can, uh, you know, just as at a press of a button, we are able to see each other and talk to each other face to face. So the technology in mobile phones has advanced and why it has advanced or why this point is that all the companies who came up with their ideas protected them as patents. So that is the importance of patents in today's world. Let us talk a bit about trademarks and why or logo that helps a consumer to distinguish between competing goods or services. It's the enterprises in, in consumer's mind. Side, there are four trademarks given, uh, sorry, three trademarks given, and one is for Microsoft, then there is Pepsi, then there is Tata. So if this it is we are able to identify to whom it belongs and we are able to identify that uh, of Microsoft, this company is Pepsi, this company is Tata and they have a brand name, they have a value and they have a trust uh, relation. So legally they are not linked to quality but in fact when the user sees a particular trademark, the user perceives that uh, there is some quality to that particular brand. Different types of trademarks. There are registered marks, there are uh, R circle, and then there are uh, marks which have their service marks. Uh, so this is how different uh, type identify whether a mark is registered or in that mark there is a R symbol or there is a TM symbol. Now why one should not use another flaw? If we see in this case that happened, the PepsiCo owns 7up, but there is another company who came up with the similar bottle, uh, beverage bottle or a soda bottle, which had a name 11 up and there was almost a similar, similarly it was placed, there was a red yeah. 11 up company, they were restrained from using mark in the bottles. In our day to day lives, we see many, many copied products, one of the brand which is used by, uh, you know, which we, yes, copied as Cheezos. So again, this was, Cheezos was stopped from using the brand Cheezos. 
map out a bit of designs as to what are designs. So designs are ornamental or aesthetic. Designs are ornamental or aesthetic aspects of an article that enhance its visual appeal and uh, surface as of a perfume bottle, 2D patterns or lines, shapes and colors on a bed sheet, etc. Uh, uh, which appeal to the eye, which have a certain aesthetic, can be protected as designs. For example, this Coca-Cola, this particular jar or this chair, if someone has come up with their novel, they must protect uh, and if they want to exploit that in biz in their business, they must protect their designs under the Design Act in India. Uh, right, uh, you know, property right that protects original works of authorship, including literary, dramatic, musical, artistic. So all these types of works can and be protected under the Copyright Act. So if you write a you know, book or if you create a drama or if you create your own music or some kind of an artwork, then those can be protected under copyright. The term of the copyright is author's lifetime plus 60 years. So that is how you know few of IP tools are available to to the general public at large and to each one of you to exploit these tools when you to have your own idea or when you write novel or when you come up with your own design or when you come up with your own company name protect that idea or that company name and file a patent or a trademark for them it is very important to have an ip portfolio uh, and you are protected and you can benefit from all those ideas. So this is what an IP portfolio is called and as I was earlier speaking that uh, even a mobile phone that has several uh, you know IPs, intellectual properties uh, available. For example, this is a Nokia phone. There is a trademark called Nokia, right? Nokia is a registered trademark and this particular model was called N95. Again, that's a very uh, protected trademark. It uses software Symbian and Java. They are again, Symbian and Java as the term itself is a protected trademark. What can be in a mobile phone that is, uh, you know, a subject of patent protection is the data processing method or semiconductor circuits or chemical compounds. These all can be data protection methods. Copyright could be software code, instruction manual, ringtone, you know, and designs could be uh, form as to shape of the overall form, the overall, overall phone, arrangement of buttons in the oval shape, three-dimensional waveform of the buttons, etc, etc. And similarly, you know, patents are available in several fields, even in pharma, uh, pharma sector. Uh, all the compounds that you come up with, you know, the, the, the novel compounds that you come up with, you can protect them as patents and benefit from them, you know, license them to other companies and benefit from them. So it's very important, be it any field, be it engineering field, be it pharma field, be it life sciences field, be it mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, computers engineering, patents are available in each area and don't come up with a big idea as I was showing you the needles, very small differences all these needles have and they were each uh, a subject of patent protection. So you don't have to come up with a huge idea and it's a very big thing, it, it is not in my hand but come up with a small idea, sometimes it can do wonders for you. So these are, you know, this was my presentation. I hope uh, you came to know a bit about what are the benefits available to startups and what are patents, trademark and copyright. Uh, I wish you uh, each and every one of you a very best in your life. Uh, 
thank you very much for the presentation. Hello. Hello, Sarusa. Please unmute your mic. Please. Your voice is not audible. Yes, sir, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, there is a question from JM also. Sir, our students have three questions for you. They have some doubts. Okay. Okay. Please go ahead. It's not audible. Sir, get out the question. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, you have the question that uh, if uh, given the process of applying, and yeah. uh, if someone copied the idea, then what are the process? Question, question, question. Like, before finding the pattern, if you know, I can leave, is there something to do we can do something? Sir, the question is the voice is not. How is my question? 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 How is uh, yeah. Sir, sir. Sir, when we are applying for our project, and when we are applying for our patent right uh, in the process, when we are applying, there are chances that uh, somebody copied or stole our project. So, so, so what I am getting from. <laughs> Sir, since we are not able to hear the question, is it possible to put the answer to the chat box? Please put the question in the chat box so that uh, Mayan can uh, read and answer the question. Thank you. Yeah, 
por el profesor. Hello. Hello. Muchos santos. Santos Prabhu, I think there is some issues. Hello. Hello. I, uh, hello. I think we should stop the question and the session. We will start the business with same logo and same brand. What should be different to what you think? Santos Prabhu, the discussion is going on. There is a lot of disruptions. Hello. Hello. I request that you want to mute their mics. Hello. Mr. Uh, Santos. Hello. Is it audible? Hello. 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 Dr. Carr, I can hear you. Yeah, you are audible, okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. I think there was a disruption. I was not getting a response. So, should you go ahead with the next presentation? Yeah, I think better. We can keep the question answers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very good. Some, think, problem, uh, with the, some problem with the system. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Please. So, very, yeah, very good evening uh, to all the, the participants participant here at the outset. I'm very much thankful to the MSME DI for organizing such a uh, very good event today and connecting quite a large number of students and from the educational institution. And uh, at the outset, uh, with due regards to Mr. P.K. Gupta, Joint Director, and our uh, one of the expert speaker, Mr. Mayank Shudh, who was very clearly, in a very short time, with a very focused way, with a very powerful way, he has communicated what is the importance and relevance of the intellectual property rights for the startups and innovation in today's context. And uh, uh, next to me, there is another eminent speaker, Dr. H. Purushottam, who is a very eminent person in this field and he will be talking about more the technical aspects of this thing, about the patent, trademark, industrial design and the copyrights and what is the procedure and how to go about this. I have been given this opportunity as Dr. S. Kekar from Head of Marketing Consultancy and IPFC from CTTC Bhubaneswar. Uh, the topics given me today to talk about the professional business ethics and IPR protection for the MSMEs. So, if possible, uh, uh, I can share my screen. Is the screen is visible? No, I think there must be some issues. Okay. 
Uh, I'll go ahead with my without in the off screen uh, presentation. And when we're talking about the innovation, incubation, and entrepreneurship, and uh, any anything we look around, uh, we could see there is something, there is some innovation behind this. There is an entrepreneur who has made it. And we often remember there is a the quote that is saying, the quality of life. When you talk about the quality of life, like I define it this way. The speed is calculated miles per hour. The speed is calculated miles per hour. The quality of life is calculated miles per hour. When you talk about the smiles per hour, it's nothing about the kind of the technology we are using, kind of environment we are residing, kind of the product and services we are making use of this. And we are all part of this. And uh, uh, there is a quote, progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. So if you want to progress, if you want to sustain, and there must we have to progress. We have to progress. And, uh, hello, is voice audible? Hello, Mr. Santos. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Is it audible? Yes, it's audible. Hello. Okay. So, to improve is to change and to perfect is to change of heart. If you want to improve, then we have to keep on focusing the change upon. Go on change. And you have to keep on improving, improving and improving. For any small scale unit, any startup today, there is every possibility to become a multinational company tomorrow. When you talk about any, we are talking, uh, Mr. Mayank was mentioning about the trademark. <laughs> He was mentioning about the trademark, he was mentioning about the engagement. Any issues with the sound? Any issues with the audio, please? Hello? 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 Any issues with the audio? No, 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 bro. no issues, sir. It's uh, audible. Okay, fine. Thank you. Audible, there's a lot of background noise. There's a lot of background noise. Yeah. Somebody has to unmute. Minimum, minimum. That's a microphone. That's why it's really audible. I just request you to sign the microphone. Sir, you continue, sir. Sir, you continue. Okay. So, when we see, uh, when we are talking about the innovations and the startups, the startups play a very important role today. And the government of India is focusing as India as a young country. India as a first developing nation in the world. And it is the demographic dividend is its a strength. So to convert this young, innovative minds into the wealth creation, job creation opportunities, developing, focusing on science and technology development is the need of the hour, is the focus of the hour. With that idea, it has an established lot of intellectual property facilitation center and is trying to develop an innovation ecosystem. So they're establishing various business incubation centers, livelihood business incubation center, technical business incubation center, and innovation uh, center uh, and, and intellectual property facilities center the different institutional universities. As you understand, since many of you are from the academic wing, and UGC has made a circular and that, uh, in, that intellectual property right facilitation and IPR has been introduced as one of the compulsory subject in many of the universities in the graduation and post-graduation level. So IP and innovation in the way of life and IP parallelly goes with that. When you talk about the innovation, it is the knowledge. It is creation of the mind. Thinking something differently. Finding a better solution for any problem. And, and it's, when you look at this novelty, the uniqueness means its applicability. Scope for use for the interest of the public and having the scope for the commercialization. So knowing the things and doing the things. So it is not only knowing the things and the doing the things, but also protecting the things. If you do not protect the idea, if you do not protect your intellectual property, the creation of mind, the Baudic's uh, some path, if you do not protect, very soon there is every possibility. In India, like developing country, and you, as you know, there are creators, the innovators are very few, and the hijackers are many. Maybe you are talking something, you are having some innovative ideas, you are just sharing this information, and somebody takes goes for the protection of it, somebody goes for the production of it, somebody goes for the commercialization of it. So it's very important, we must know what to protect, when to protect and how to protect. 
So that is a very much important, that is a highly uh, important relevance today for any startups, you know, and, and startups and researchers. So that is the reason we are making this wide uh, IPR awareness campaign. IP as a subject, why when a small and startup, when you think of the IP protection, it gets scared up because first of all, he may not have the confidence to disclose his idea or the innovation before somebody. That's one thing. Second thing, IP is a very high value commercial job, but it is, a, uh, it is, it is as you said, it is a very high value intangible asset. So that is why but you got the kind of professionals you will be engaged for your patent drafting, design, trademark, and counseling, and giving you the knowledge in this field are like Mr. Mike Soth, very highly competent, qualified, and experienced professional. It is obvious they will charge a little high fee when you talk of the professional fee. And the startups, micro, small scale entrepreneurs cannot afford it. That becomes the biggest fear in the mind of the startups and innovators. That's the reason Government of India has found the way that it has established IP facilitation centers by spending quite a good amount of money and so for creating high-tech infrastructure facilities and connecting various IP professionals so that they can make these services available to startups and young innovators and the researchers almost at free of cost or at a very nominal cost which can be affordable by every individual. And apart from that, Startup India, as Mr. Moink was mentioning, Startup India is having the provision that have panel such eminent professionals and the attorneys, those who provide the services free of court, provided you are having Startup India registration certificate. So if any startup, they should know, already he has indicated the things, how to start your business and how to get your startup and to, to avail this protection, uh, IP protection services. Yeah, we'll be talking a bit about the business. Is that intellectual property right as innovation, as a creation of mind, has it any role with the, our, uh, in any business ethics? Why do you talk about business ethics? Why do you talk about ethics and the values? Why do you think in that direction? As I mentioned in the beginning, any startup today, any multi, any uh, micro company today has the potentiality to become a multinational tomorrow. That means when you talk about the ethics, any organization ethics, any individual concern, any professional, there is something very valuable, uh, uh, personality factor, either it could be institutional, it could be professional, it could be the personal, it is his ethics, moral, values. So if you do not have the ethics, if there is unethical, no unethical practices can make our business sustainable. If you want to grow in the business, if you want to make a strong brand in the oh, uh, national wide, uh, the world wide, then you have to have your ethics and uh, values in its, the place. That's the reason. The ethics and business is ethics and values having very much important relevance in today's context when you're thinking of the startup. And apart from that, the knowledge of IPR uh, awareness is also equally important. That we'll be talking about, I will be sharing a few cases of my experience. The what the startups, what kind of problems they face are being at the micro and small entrepreneur. Yeah, when you think about business ethics, any business, what do you mean by business? Anything you are making a business means there are different stakeholders. There could be customers, there is a manufacturer, there is a supplier, there is a government, there are many other stakeholders associated with business. This business does not mean only for the profit. Business means though there is one of the objectives to make the profit and to grow, but it's not the only means, it goes beyond. So that is why when you talk, uh, think about the connecting ethics as a principle, as a strong principle to the business, the ethics is a Greek word, it is called ethos, means character, norms, ideals, or the morals. Business ethics concerns itself with the relationship between business objectives, practices, and techniques, and the good of the society. So business ethics is originated in the US in 1970. As you know, today business ethics and values is a subject is being taught in the management, uh, to the, in the management graduates. And there are many good management system auditing as a culture of the organization, even there are some criteria, there are some criteria for the evaluation, what is the ethical behavior or ethical uh, rating of an organization? Means what is the value of an organization? What is the organization culture? It talks about the organization reputation, brand and image. Means it gives a trust to the mind of the customers, gives a trust to the society, gives a trust in the mind of the public. That is what the ethics. And there is a difference between values and ethics. To understand it be clear, values means beliefs that guide 
assumes a judgment across the variety of situations. What are the ethics is defined are the standards of the right or wrong. Defining what the, the things I am doing, is it right or wrong? And it must be abided by certain laws, rules and regulations that prescribe what should be done and what not. And when you look at the elements in the business ethics, is the commitment of the top management. As a startup entrepreneur, as a proprietor, as an entrepreneur, you must have a commitment. Yes, the things I am doing, I will be doing, is not harmful to the society, is not against the law, is not infringing anybody's intellectual property, is not hijacking anybody's knowledge and information without his permission or without his license. So that is what to be considered in that way. And involving employees at all the levels, any product, any companies you want to grow and sustain and to be a demonstrable organization, must have value in the place. The people should be connected, should be aligned with organization goal, vision and mission. That is what, so that producing the quality and maintaining the consistency and to make the organization your products cost competitive will be possible when we involve the employee, when we engage the employees, engage every individual of the organization and measuring the performance of the output. So basically, when we are doing any organization, we want to grow. What is my organization reputation? It must be my product or my service or my organization or as a person, my name, as a promoter of the organization must be trustworthy. Have respect for the others. Having owning the responsibility, a responsible citizen. Be fair in the dealings. Be caring towards well-being of others. Prove to be good citizen through civil ventures and the duties. This is a moral standards. When you talk about the ethics in the business, it's nothing but a moral standards. Standard that an individual has about what is right or what is wrong. Values means long-lasting beliefs that guide the society decisions and actions towards a variety of situations. And business ethics, application of these ethical principles in day-to-day -day conduct of business to examine and solve the complex moral of the dilemmas. So, when we are talking the invention and innovation, uh, there are many young minds here, I could say, as uh, Mr. Mike was mentioning very nicely with a lot of examples in the day-to-day -day life, the, it is mere creativity or invention is not going to solve the purpose. It must have some innovativeness. It must have some novelty means application. Are you, uh, Mr. Atos, am I able to, are you able to show, uh, see my, my picture? Are the things I am showing in my hand? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, okay. Is, so, you can see. Uh, yeah, I can, you can see that I am holding a wire. This is a material. Without giving any shape of the product, this is a piece of wire only. But the same product with an idea, when I fold it to give a shape like jump cleave, it becomes a product. The value is added to here, the novelty, the innovation is here, it's going to be applied for the clipping or tying up the piece, bunch of paper, so that it not be loser. So this becomes a value added product. This has the application, there's a novelty in the idea. It's an idea to giving a similar kind of shape right from the taking from a mere piece of wire. That is my innovation. That is my intellectual property. And this goes beyond for making the commercialization. Either this pan, the product I can manufacture in my own company and sell it to the whole of the market, or I can license my idea. If I do not have the opportunity or the scope to establish my company, I can authorize, I can go for the protection of this design registration of the shape or aesthetic part of it, and novelty part of the functionality and utility part of it under the patent registration, and so that. I can further license to somebody who is willing to take this license from me, this technology, this innovation, and producing for the manufacturing the products uh, for the commercial purpose and with uh, giving the royalty to me. So, it is the creation of mind is very important. It, the entrepreneurs, it is not the cause, not just a business. It is have a higher mission. It must have a long term goal. As you know, it is not only doing the things, but also product branding. Branding. So, when you talk about business ethics, values and culture, it is closely associated with the product branding. I know many of you guys might be from the management or the engineering, by engineering background. The power of the brand is very important. It is not only doing the things, it is also equally important. The things are being visible distinctively 
in the market it should create a strong impression a brand impression in the mind of the consumers and the customers if you look at the boys of the entrepreneurs and the brand they say like walter landor the founder of the landor uh, has said products are made in the factory but brands are created in the mind means the kind of the impression kind of the image has been created a brand is nothing but a promise a good brand is a promise kept we are talking about ceo of the amazon uh, the example has shown what is said that your brand is what other people say about you when you are not in the room when the people talk about the qual- good qualities of your product when they, they praise you they talk a lot about you in your absence that is a brand that is a kind of the strong values that is a strong impression which has been created in the mind of the consumer and customer when they close their mind and think of a pretty using similar kind of the product looking for somebody product or the service it keeps a fast picture comes to your mind that is what the power of the brand one thing i remember here as you say they think kon kehta hai ki hawa ka kuch kimat nahi hai kon kehta hai ki hawa ka kuch kimat nahi hai 10 rupya ka le ka packet mein 7 rupya ka ta hawa hi hai that is what the branding and packaging when you talk when you look at the a packet of the lays kurkure we are buying what is there content will be hard less than 20% 25% rest of thing are here nicely packaged very strong brand very few content in it and we are ready to pay 10 rupees 20 pais that is a paying for the air that is the power of the brand so ip intellectual property starts with an idea as you say it is nothing but creation of mind what is ip already ms mayank has informed as very clearly described about the different kind of intellectual property rights as creative the minds but uh, there is a in the trademark Uh, industrial design copyright geographical indication trade secret patent these are things uh, 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 is uh, already explained in a brief and uh, now uh, i would like to say since many of the students and startups and the research are here what is the common mistake we do the common mistake do we are not aware when to protect and how to protect it every individual is blessed with a lot of intellectual properties only thing the problem with us we never think of that we never try to look at we never try to explore those unpotent that potential uh, uh, innovativeness potential knowledge and intellectuals within us that is the reason we remain silent once we think that there's a, yes i want to do something differently what is this market what is this product how to find the solution you will find lot of innovations will come to your mind and to protect our innovation there is a lot of ip facilitation centers lot of ip counselors lot of ip attorneys those who are connected those can help you to take it forward so what is happening that when you are going for the patent many a times with the young startups the common mistakes we do the young researchers what do they do we have a lot of excitement to go for publication kuch kar diya to immediately us paper amar journal mein publish ho jaye acha lagega sometimes immediately usko facebook or social media mein usko promote kar lete hain sometimes kahan pe exhibition hota hai wahan pe leke hum product display kar dete hain so by doing this we are losing the credibility because this and the patent is one of the condition that it should not come to the public domain before your filing because if it comes to the notice of the uh, patent examiner then it will it loses its credibility so that is why you should be very careful in case you are having innovative idea you are making any kind of prototype so please go for the ipr filing the patent filing either go initial stage you can go for the provisional patent filing subsequently you can go for developing the complete product and the technology and uh, further you can make the details exhaustive uh, novelty search and go for the patent drafting and the filing by taking the help of an ip facilitation center all the ip attorney experts then you can go for this uh, once you before doing this if you are uh, making any publication or bringing to the public notice you lose credibility So we have to take care of this thing. Similar, I am a victim of similar kind of situation while doing my doctorate. So that is why I think because that is the kind of degree of awareness with the people like art level, professor level, people like at the senior executive level. It is obvious when you think of one young innovative mind, irrespective of any qualification, irrespective of any exposure, naturally it is obvious the degree of awareness is very low. Similarly, design, industrial design. 
You have nothing but an aesthetic part. How this product looks like? Very exciting example I would like to share. There are a few, two, three guys from the KIT TBI, from KIT University. They have formed one startup company. They were manufacturing this uh, small mini 3D printer, which can be used in the school or college level for just uh, demonstrative purpose. So they gave, came, they were associated with us in the basement IP facilities and services. At the same time, the Institute of Life Science and Imgenix India Biotech Limited, there is a company here, I think some of the Trident College guys are here, the Imgenix India Biotech is just in front of them. So the managing director of the Imgenix Biotech India and Institute of Life Science, they have a tie up because they do a lot of work in the biotech field. They wanted to uh, supply some biotech investing kit all over the world. Prior to that, they were getting it from Italy uh, and Germany. There was a magnetic particle separator, there is a device they were getting from Germany. It was costing nearly 1,800 rupees for each unit. And they wanted to develop it. So when they came to us and asked us, we designed and tried to help them. And during the meanwhile, since these guys were connected to us, I asked them, why don't you go for a designing of this and you are having a 3D printing lab, you can make a sample piece, a prototype, and show them. Then immediately they, those guys started working. It's nothing. They only gave a shape, aesthetic, but how this product looked like. A three-dimensional view of the product. They came to me. It was looking very appealing. And uh, when we just showed to the Injection India director, then uh, managing director, he appreciated, told, okay, we'll go ahead. Then I told, let's go for this uh, patent file, sorry, design application filing. Then we helped them. As you know, how much the design filing is only 1,000 rupees for the individuals and the messages. So they paid 1,000 rupees B and got the industrial design filing through us. And it got registered almost, I think, it took around one and a half months for getting registration and this uh, registration was granted. Subsequently, Institute of Life Science and MGNS India, Biotech, they wanted to take this design from, the, from these guys so that they can produce and supply this component within their Biotech testing kit, which is costing around 700 rupees. This is state to 1100 rupees saving and it is an import substitution. It is a story of our Atman Nirbhar Bharat. It is a startup people have put their mind. So it was very good. Then immediately when they wanted to, since this design has got registered in the mind of the student, when they have opened the register of this, the students were called and we had a meeting. And discussed, it was negotiated. It was around 2.5 lakhs rupees. They are paid for the merely giving the design. These guys who have spent 1,000 rupees got a small design aesthetic part of the registration. They negotiated, they permitted them to make use of the design and charge 2.5 lakhs rupees. That is the, you can say, the, how the creation, the power of the innovative mind. A small innovation, small design thinking could make them able to create this much wealth. Right? So, it has got a lot of potentiality. And one more thing I would like to share here, the market, there is any startups or any innovator, researchers comes to us when we discuss, what is the novelty in this? They say, sir, the events go to ham pura chiz dekh liya, sir, ye kahi bhi nahi hai, this is first time in the world. Because they are not aware, because they do not have adequate knowledge to investigate and find out what is the novelty, what is the uniqueness in it, unit, how it is different from others. Because what do they do? Immediately they take the help of the Google Baba. They take the Google search help and they came out some result and probably based upon that they claim, yes sir, this is not aware, not anywhere. But Google.com uh, service is not adequate, it provides a lot of information. It educates us in many ways, but it is not foolproof in providing all this information related to this. There are some paid databases, and these databases are cost more than 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs, depending upon the kind of the database and the organization information. And these IP facilitator centers and the professional attorneys, they pay for this and have this registered license, they have the license for using this database. And if we use this database and make the exhaustive search, then we can have detailed information worldwide. What is the scope? Whether somebody is having similar kind of patent now, whether similar kind of similar kind of the patent novel anybody has can claim, whether it has got registered, all these information is possible to get. And it is not merely, and also this information, but even though you will be having the paid database, it is not that somebody, anybody XYZ can just get the information. For getting the information, somebody has to have the skill. You must know how to search it, how to put the keywords, how to make an exhaustive search. Because if when it goes to the web, it, it tracks the information, the different, based on the different information data, what you have provided. 
So it tells you it's a lot of competency and the skills. It's only the IT experts, the professionals who are having the domain knowledge and experience in this field. They can make a good exhaustive source and can provide the detailed information in regarding this. So regarding this, what I mean to say here, whenever there is similar kind of project like the Bayrak and DST, some of the proposals had come to us, some doctors and some innovators, they came to us and, they, and there's some startup they came to us with their idea. So what do we do? We are having the paper by using the paid database. There is another market competitive intelligence analysis. If that analysis you can do, you can find out the details about the commercialization aspect, commercialization potentiality or the viability of the commerciality of that particular business idea or for that particular technology in the worldwide database. Even that will provide you the information why this particular technology, whether it is uh, it has been very good commercial viability in India, Africa or China, Japan or any of the country world. It will talk about the distinct feature, distinct information about this. It will talk about what kind of research is going on. It will talk about who are the people working on it. It will talk about what are the kind of the things, advancement already taken in this place. So it will provide that detailed exhaustive information. When you capture all this information and do this supporting documents, market competent intelligence analysis, another the freedom to operate analysis, whether any kind of legal dispute is there anywhere in your country or anywhere in, anywhere in the world, then this details and supportive information so when we provide along with our research documents, along with our innovative ideas, before the funding agency, then what is happening? It becomes easy way. It gives a grip channel. It gives a confidence in the mind of the investor. It gives a confidence in the mind of the funding agency who evaluates, he understands the potentiality, he understands the commercial viability, and it grants that they provide. Similar cases happened. One doctor from the SOM hospital, she came with an idea. We have done the development, market competent analysis, everything. And she got that from DST 48 lakhs rupees grant. Another person is from Olatur. He had come with an idea. We just did some design, developed. He has got the, he has got, uh, from Bayrak, he has got our 50 lakhs rupees grant. And he has got the award, received the award from the Honorable Vice President of India. So, a small business idea, if you put it to, Ornamentally organized with all supplement information, all requisite uh, content to it, it will build a lot of confidence and clarity to the evaluators or the assessor or the funding agencies. So, these kind of services also are being provided by the IT facilitation services. In case you are having an idea, I think from Trident, Mr. Tripathi, as well as professor, he has also taken a lot of help from our uh, IT facilitation services, uh, from our IT facilitation center. So, uh, this is when we are talking about the product branding and uh, uh, the business ethics and its commercialization scope, these all are very widely applicable and uh, this is nothing but it is uh, your trademark. Uh, what is happening when you go for a trademark filing, as you know, as Mr. Mayank was already mentioning, it can be logo, it can be device mark, it can be tagline. So, many times what happens, uh, the startups, they, it is, uh, they come with an idea or a suggestion to go for a, a, a trademark filing application, logo or the brand filing. Then in that case also there is a possibility in one application you can go for the device mark, means logo and also a tagline that can be combinedly we will file one application. So you have the opportunity, either you can apply them, file it independently, one for logo, one for the tagline. In that case, you have to pay the fee, application fee individually for the both cases. If you combine it, that is if you combine it, you have to give one application fee, one attorney fee. So many times our startup or MSME entrepreneur, due to the lack of awareness, uh, they are uh, making double, triple application. That is one mistake they do. So they can, can save their money. Second thing, when they come with an idea, with a name of the logo or the brand name, they do not, they are not aware whether this is application is going to be granted or not. What is the probability of the grant? So, everybody, as I told you that everybody, when it comes to an idea or a mind, he thinks that it is his own innovative. That is nobody has claimed. Because without going proper investigation through uh, proper database by a competent person. As you know, the trademark registration, before filing, there is a, uh, uh, in the Government of India portal, there is a free website. If you put your trademark name, and the class, there are 45 different classes of the trademarks, manufacturing and services. If you select choose the appropriate class, you can get all the every all information in front of your screen. Whether this particular trademark, particular name is exists 
somebody and what is the condition whether somebody is applied whether it is objected whether this application somebody has applied it is abandoned what is the condition exactly you will get all these information so you need not be worried now today every information is digitized you can get everything at your fingertips so in our ip facilitation center what we do when somebody comes we do a lot of counseling we make detailed exhaustive source we examine what is the probability of grant otherwise suppose even though we pay with a discounted fee of 4500 5000 rupees if this application is getting rejected or going to be objected by somebody then this money will be lost so that is why we take do lot of counseling discussion ground work so that we ensure okay this i will having a highest uh, high degree of probability for this and infringement why when we are talking business ethics and trademark where it has got very good closely uh, association because infringement is an unethical practice as you know nearby near last what is happening in kotak there are the people those who are manufacturing duplicate products purasius products the ghee atta and many other food products which is very much health hazardous and they were also selling in the different name sometimes what do people knowingly knowingly they present they copy somebody's brand name copy somebody's packaging and duplicate the products and duplicate product they pack it and ship to the public this is a legal uh, this is a criminal offense criminal offense as per the law similarly they if they are infringing somebody's trademark or packaging or the branding also it will invite another infringement legal suit again the violation of the ip law and so this is will be more serious so as you know see recently in kotak uh, and nearby kotak places many such cases are there these are unethical so no unethical way can make your business sustainable and it is very hard to earn the name very hard to have a reputation of your brand image and it takes no time lose it so that is why when you talk about the branding the ip protection understanding the value important the relevance of the intellectual property to your business doesn't matter how small it is or how big it is it should be from the beginning it should be the first of your choice it should be the uh, the first step of your ladder of your business plan you have to investigate you have to understand and the pros and cons you have to be counsel then you can go for this in fact i was seeing there are a lot of questions from our young students and innovative minds they are talking about the branding implement probably this question can be taken up at the end of the sessions and uh, i think uh, this is what uh, i would like to say i would like to conclude uh, this is a very sort of must topic if we go on speaking it, uh, it will be quite long time and we have another eminent speaker dr pushottam i think we must take the opportunity to hear him and it's uh, please have the patience and you will be really enjoying lot of technical information you'll be getting in the session with this i hand over to mr santosh namaskar jai jagannath uh, thank you sir thank you for your uh, wonderful presentation and you have given lot of example that will encourage all the students uh, to motivate themselves uh, while they will innovate any idea they just go for uh, protect their idea uh, protect their idea through this ip tool now dr purushottam sir my voice is audible to you hello actually there is some power cut with thatch purushottam sir so whether uh, now it is uh, whether uh, just i will make sure that uh, sir whether my voice is audible to you sir i think there is a power cut with purushottam sir so he may not able to join uh, hello so uh, uh, we will go with question and answer session now if uh, dr prashottam will join and uh, uh, i also request uh, for nrdc vijay uh, dr vijay kumar sir vijay kumar sir sir he will also join vijay uh, sir hello vijay sir uh, ha uh, right i think uh, yeah 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 mr sahu yeah yeah sir okay sir you continue sir sir you continue with your presentation sir right uh, me ha uh, sir pushottam sir you continue with your presentation ah uh, now it is uh, your uh, is available sir sir over to you sir Why is 
sir your voice is audible sir not audible your voice is audible no no person not person has voice are you able to hear i am not able to listen person sir पुरुषोत्तम सर वेदर आवर वॉइस इज ऑडिबल टू यू स्पीकिंग बट हिज वॉइस इज नॉट ऑडिबल Oh, one second. I will make fun. Oh, I am making it. All right. Then. One second. One second. One second. One second. One second. Yeah, the screen is visible now. Hello. आप पुरुषोत्तम सर योर वॉइस इज नॉट ऑडिबल सो मेक अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ सर एंड ट्राई वंस अगेन Any problem, doctor? We can go with doctor as well, doctor Vikas Rao sir. Hello. Ah, sir, sir, you continue with uh, sir. I will request you. Ah, uh, 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 sir, uh, right now I think uh, Purushottam voice, Purushottam sir, voice is not audible. So I request doctor Vikas Rao sir to continue with his presentation. Vikas Rao sir, please. Vikas Rao sir, hello. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah. uh, sir. Uh, okay, you continue with your presentation. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
technical people i am uh, speaking uh, in the changing paradigm of ecosystem today being a odia i would like to tell you odisha ro jo bhi enabling ecosystem achi apan mane nijo ku hi tiyari koriba padibo jehetu every state have a startup ecosystem you connect with the startup ecosystem of every state come with your idea protect your idea in the form of ipr and uh, that idea is uh, in the form of patent trademark design copyright and all these ipr nrdc as a government of india organization will help you in protect protecting free of cost not a single penny you need not to pay anything we will bear the cost up to the grant of in all intellectual property you will get it so my point and urge all of you is that if you have such kind of invention such kind of idea such kind of product and process you want to wanted to venture into a market you protect it because maybe getting a new business the future is foggy and you must have to protect your intellectual property or intangible asset fast before venturing to the business so first protect your intangible asset ultimately it will help in protection of your tangible asset what you are bringing to the market friends since you are the academics people i like to tell you and urge you you can see the statistic us was number 1 china was number 10 in 2005 in the monopoly of patent application globally because patent is nothing but a uh, indicator of monopoly of on any invention at, at the wto arena and we are part of wto ecosystem you can imagine today china is number 1 and us is number 2 and we are nowhere you can imagine as a indian as a citizen of india we must have to mitigate this challenge globally if we want to create a sustainable innovation ecosystem towards entrepreneurship you you might be seeing in your uh, uh, odia tv uh, every day there is a uh, piracy report in the many of the odia newspaper in kota many uh, spurious process and product are selling in the market so point today is that if we will enforce ip people will respect ip leverage ip and we can mitigate you can understand there is, there are many uh, kind of ghee are selling in rampantly and which are pirated and spurious uh, ghee are selling in odisha market and that was also read by odisha police and that was in also in katak so you can imagine my dear friend role of intellectual property and that kill our family that kill our uh, day to day life with their piracy spuriosity and also we need to create a sustainable ecosystem to protect it mitigate it and manage it my dear friend you might be knowing a tcs tcs company and uh, the tcs company once was there was a infringement case against tcs company on infringement of ip and there was a penalty of 940 million dollar before uh, your tcs so you can imagine if you are a startup and if there is a, any infringement case you are you are you, you will be killed and also nation will be killed and that is the uh, that is the our objective collectively we are coming to you so that you first protect your ip when we talked about artificial intelligence or industry 4.0 or uh, uh, research and development for bond imitation issue is rampant in in our day to day life every uh, many academia has a report of plagiarism imitation copyright violation and uh, even many of the uh, uh, licensed law caught in plagiarism so it is a high time to build a ecosystem and for that innovation ecosystem government of india came out with all policy and there is a great policy national innovation and startup policy 2019 for student and faculty that is a guiding framework for all of you so uh, opportunity is there enabling ecosystem is there you connect with with us and there is a great program for the women those who are doing btech mtech and a phd in computer science any engineering or science subject they can be a women scientist of government of india and that kiran program is launched by department of science and technology join with this program be a women leader women entrepreneur and also you can mitigate the many challenge of many corporate institution psu government and you will be a ornament to the knowledge society and that is the beauty with brand and that is the program initiated by government of india women ipr scientists that not only build your career that will create impact to the society many more student will come out join with you and that is the nation building towards women empowerment we have a start up and stand up india scheme for which also you will get a loan and then you can make it friends be a 3 idiot the ba uh, you might have in recent time you know the real hero of 3 uh, idiot has created a uh, 
uh, one of the armory uh, equipment for the Indian armed, armed forces Ladakh and Sonam Wangchu and that is the innovation, that is the value creation, that is the nation building and that is the role of intellectual property and protection, management, commercialization. So friends, innovation today is a market driven invention driven and technology driven the way vaccine innovation has come to the market it is completely market driven everyone are anxious to get this vaccine even myself also i wanted to uh, 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 call one of the hospital to get a vaccine that means that's the role of innovation that is the creativity and that is the role of academia industry collaboration india need skill and you know 75% of Odia students are skillless and that was the report in the government of India recently came out Skill India report that Odia students 75% student are not eligible for a job. So you, my urge all of you is that develop your skill, skill will, will be your ornament and that, that you will beautify through the industry, academy and the government and you will be a secret weapon of the knowledge economy. So my dear friend, I would like to urge you whatever the IP you are generating or part of that all this IP, I think Dr. Kerr might have already spoken about that. But I would like to tell you about this, uh, how IP violation uh, on, in the form of copyright uh, damage to the nation because of the uh, copyright piracy, India is losing 60,000 jobs annually. Because of the piracy, India losing 180 billion revenue annually. So my, my urge all of you is that you must sensitize yourself that how IP create and opportunity of nation building and also capacity building to the nation. Today, uh, many of the academia is uh, measured with the ARIA ranking. That ARIA ranking is the total ranking for institutional innovation and achievement. And for that, the incubation, innovation, infrastructure, entrepreneurship is part of that. And that academia today are number one list, whether it may be a private and public, and they are making the difference. So first, we must have to create IP, protect IP, and exploit IP. And I we help in expo uh, exploitation of IP and that is IP commercialization. And uh, I urge all of you, if we want to uh, collaborate academia industry, certainly we will make the difference. And unfortunate part in India, we have 900 university, 40,000 college, 11,000 engineering college, but this kind of ecosystem are lacking completely. That's why government of India came out with the many scheme, flagship program. But at the same time, I will urge you all of you is that any idea you have, that idea, uh, idea are helpful for your collaborative research, contract research, grant in research, and also that will help for incubation and value creation, and also uh, uh, make the process and product to the institution and benefit sharing. If you have anything, anything you have developed, if there is a commercialization of your patent, 60% of the money should be, you should get it, and that is the benefit sharing of commercialization of intellectual property, and also you will get royalty time to time. We, we connect to academia, particularly uh, to the knowledge worker, BTEC, MTEC, engineering student on intellectual property so that they can be a woman scientist, they can be a woman entrepreneur, and they can take the new technology to the market to mitigate the challenge. For Odisha, we need to create that ecosystem and momentum, and that is the need of the hour. And these are the young chap who are making the difference to the knowledge society through their intellectual property. From this photograph, you can understand the impact factor, the visibility, and same thing, you must have to look into that. My dear friend, you can see the last, uh, this fourth, uh, third photograph, one of the lady is sitting with me. This lady is the director of Ruchi Masala, Rasmita Sahu. And you can, uh, you can imagine, they are giving uh, more than 1200 people are depending livelihood from this ruchi masala in odisha and this is one of the industry making the difference they had a problem of uh, some of the ipr issues and we mitigate it and it is the high time to connect ip into industry is very very important you can see this photo uh, last photograph left to me one lady is standing the lady is the director of one of the industry and right to me one of the lady is standing who is a scientist along with her as a student and uh, they have developed one technology and patented it and that we transfer to the com uh, one of the company and uh, uh, making the uh, connecting to the industry and that knowledge transfer from uh, academia to industry and that is nothing but the innovation that create value to the society and bringing Lakshmi and Saraswati together. My dear friend, this is one of the case at Kalahandi district in Odisha, which uh, basically I am from Kalahandi. Uh, what he is doing? He is making a product, uh, jo dhano, uh, mana dhano rap, milru, jo pounce, say, say, uh, granule silica, ki, 
as many as 50 people are working in his company he has a startup company he got government of india support now this young chap is exporting this uh, granule to the uh, some of the steel plant various uh, steel industry for iron insulating so this is nothing but uh, nothing but the innovation from making west to uh, uh, wealth towards swachh bharat and shrestha bharat and these are the young people that uh, who are creating not only job helping to the society mitigating the challenge, challenge of environment pollution and this is innovation and value creation not only to that we are into the many of the innovation and ip we have protected for ordinance factory defense factory and those product and process are mitigating the nation and nation building so my dear friend i my i urge all of you is that any if you want to be an entrepreneur and if you need a technology talk to me if you want to protect any patent trademark design copyright all these thing you talk to me all the cost for the same not not a single penny you have to pay for that but you have to register as a dpiit startup uh, in the startup india thing and that also we help and many of the startup and msme from odisha also taken the benefit not only to ip commercialization we help in prototype scale up development and also we plays a very very important role in in this covid period and my former chairman is also there who came out uh, played a very important role in bringing the innovation particularly on covid 19 treating testing and treating technology and that for that technology many industry can come up and join hand and now bringing lakshmi and saraswati is very very important and that is the role of innovation value creation bringing academia with industry and that's we need and you can imagine ame samaste gude gude ghar ra gude mane humble family ra pila mane jodi ama ghare ame jodi if will not join hand with our parents with our innovative uh, idea to mitigate the uh, challenge of our day to day life then we are not talking about innovation and uh, anything we must have to learn the skill skill is important today uh, other than uh, the basic qualification i urge all of you how we can make the difference bringing lakshmi and saraswati that is the intellectual property only you can see uh, saraswati is a gadas saraswati jota ki school ame am school jibon re ame padhe mane padhi ki sikichu ki saraswati puja karichu kintu lakshmi puja kete bele karu jo industry jo mane industry paisa kamanti se mane karanti and bridging the gap between academia industry is intellectual property is very very important and you can see from this photograph how we are bridging the gap bringing lakshmi and saraswati together right left to me the lakshmi and right, right, right to me the saraswati who has created the knowledge and we transfer that knowledge to the industry and that industry is paying the royalty and also uh, premium to uh, to the uh, inst- uh, this scientist and scientist is getting the livelihood from his innovation and this is innovation value creation and nation building and there is a paradigm shift through innovation without innovation we are not going to mitigate the challenge we need a accessible adaptable and available innovation that create value to the society and that's that's the role of nrdc in bridging the gap bringing academia and industry together and we have been doing this kind of activity connecting academia connecting industry so that that can create a momentum to the society in new technology and uh, that to for the people of the society in mitigating the challenge of many thing and uh, all these thing i think uh, uh, mr sahu has asked uh, requested me for a 10 minute presentation so i stop here and i uh, my former cmd is already available there and uh, uh, this is something a collaborative program and uh, uh, we need to, and urge you all how we can connect with each other collaborate with each other because uh, in separate we will not be do anything if we will complement we have to be strengthen our collaboration then only we will achieve our collective goal and this is not my goal or this is not uh, uh, someone goal it is a goal of the nation to mitigate the challenge of all what we are facing in our day to day life so it is the best time how we can academia uh, connect academy and industry that will leverage to the msme and startup to get a philip and that is our mandate and mission to connecting with you all because you are the next leader of the next generation where you we, we will be seeing many hope many wishes from you thank you all of you and uh, thank you mr santosh calling me at the 11th hour and i joined i got a opportunity to join i uh, and uh, thank you uh, dr karan my earlier cmd uh, uh, dr professor purushottam who is here only i just see him and uh, giving me this uh, accidental opportunity i'll tell you so because i was in other meeting when i got a call then i thought okay let me join because it, it is in the odisha so friends my urge all of you is to that 
आपण मानकर जहां भी आईपीआर दरकार अछि पेटेंट करिवार अछि ट्रेडमार्क करिवार अछि डिजाइन करिवार अछि जीआई करिवार अछि एफ यू कनेक्ट टू अस एवरी जे आपणकर कोनोसी पैसा दरकार नै भारत सरकार पैसा आपण को खर्च करिवो टेक्नोलॉजी जदि आपण को दरकार अछि टेक्नोलॉजी दिया जिवो इवन आपण को मार्केट सर्वे बीडीपी जहां जहां असुविधा हबो यू डायरेक्टली टॉक टू मी एंड दैट इज आवर कलेक्टिव गोल टू फुलफिल द ड्रीम ऑफ महात्मा गांधी हु ऑलवेज टॉक्ड अबाउट होम ग्रोन आईडिया एंड सेल्फ रिलायंस and that is the dream of prime minister of india atmanirbhar bharat thank you all of you for giving me opportunity god bless you and you can note my note down my email id and uh, mobile number and talk to me any time thank you uh, thank you thank you very much sir uh, uh, sir uh, you have rightly said our prime minister ben goal is uh, vocal for local so with that intention we work and uh, definitely any entrepreneur any student need any support nrdc our bk sauser from odisha is there every time to help us and friends we are very fortunate again our uh, pursottam sir joined and now he is connected to us yeah thank you mr santosh and uh, dr kar and uh, my colleague dr shahu for uh, filling the gap and uh, uh, keeping you all engaged uh, <laughs> when there was a problem of technology Are you able to hear me? Are you able to hear? Yes, sir. Your voice is yes. yes, sir. Your yes, sir. Now okay. your voice is audible, sir. Very Can good. Continue, sir. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. But anyway, uh, like any other last speaker, so NTP is now scan copy mila. Uh, so I too have the same disadvantage of being the last speaker. Particularly in the subject of IPR, my all learned speakers who spoke to me spoke before me. they have already covered much of the field uh, uh there will not be much uh, scope for uh, 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 to talk more in this area because the uh, the area the field is very limited uh, uh, for such kind of events or such kind of meetings But nevertheless let me try my best what i can uh, present to you so basically what i would like to focus is that uh because my earlier speakers and by now most of you are familiar with uh, different types of ip how to create ip how to protect ip how to commercialize ip uh we are not going to talk about that but the specific topic given to us today is the benefits of trademark patent and copyrights this is the uh topic for today's uh, webinar so let me try to spend some uh, few minutes exclusively talking on the benefits why an entrepreneur why a startup why an msme should go for a registering this trademark for registering for patent or registering for copyright what benefits they get that is the theme of my talk and i my goal is to add some new knowledge to all the participants you know by now my earlier speakers who learned speakers very experienced speakers spoke a lot of things about it but uh, you can uh, still try to find out some additional new knowledge which uh, may be available in my talk no anyway like uh, there are uh, uh, many types of ips are there the definition of ip i think that is what uh, all the students should understand what is the type at the end of my talk or at, at end of all the talks what uh, i expect from all the students at that they should be able to think innovatively think differently so that is the purpose of our organizing this kind of a seminar talks by inviting learned people experienced people you know so by end, by seeing all the examples what we have quoted we should be able to get inspiration from these things you know as uh, my earlier first speaker spoke see simple seeing a needle you know they are able to develop different types of needles which have got different types of applications so need not be a, a innovation need not be a great rocket science even a simple thing which has got a need and a, which fulfills the need of the society can be a, an intellectual property right so what is the definition of intellectual property intellectual property right refers to the creations of the mind so what is important is that as a student we have to keep our mind healthy innovate think differently so that is the uh, 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 attribute uh, trait we all urge the students to develop when they are students so keep your mind healthy try to observe the society see the problems of the society and say 
how you can think differently to come out a, a cost effective solution to that problem that is nothing but a, an intellectual property right so these intellectual property rights are again classified into different types like uh, the inventions the literary and artistic works designs symbols names and images used in the commerce so this is a broad definition of intellectual property rights and there are about seven or eight types of intellectual property rights and uh, See, there are several challenges also, particularly for startups and MSMEs as far as intellectual property rights are concerned. Because most of the startup companies or the MSMEs, they are not aware of the IP laws and they, why they should need, why they should go for a IP protection. What benefits they get if they go for IP a protection, uh, largely it is not known. Of course, for the last five, six years now, the uh, awareness has been increasing. But still, in practical uh, terms, uh, implementation of these things are not that significantly achieved because the processes involved in IP acquisition rights and its enforcement are still very complex and time consuming and it requires substantial money if you want to get IP rights, you know. And also, we don't, our people or our uh, uh, stakeholders still they lack skills such as IP valuation. So creation of IP is one front, but unless you commercialize that IP, it doesn't have that kind of a real benefit of that IP creation. So if you want to commercialize it, you also need to value the IP at what price you should buy or at what price you should sell. That is also very, very important. Even those skill sets are not there and the negotiating skills for IP licensing also needs to be uh, built within our communities. So to overcome all these challenges, of course, both the state government and central governments have launched several schemes like NRDC, MITE, MSME, BIRAC. There are so many agencies have been helping the startups, the innovators, the entrepreneurs in understanding these IP issues and to mitigate the challenges what they are facing, large number of schemes under Startup India also have been launched. Only thing what is required is you need to study, you need to do research, you need to understand, build the networks attend such kind of seminars and acquire the required knowledge, skill sets so that you will not repeat the same mistakes what others have done in the past. So primary benefits of IP protection, as my earlier speakers also mentioned, uh, the first and foremost is that if you have IP in your product or service, it gives a positive marketing image. That means it tells the customers, the consumers, these products are genuine came out of a, a research innovation. They are not just a, a merely copied products. So that is the kind of a positive market image you can create if you have an IP in your business. Similarly, it also enhanced bargaining power. In case if you have an IP based product or a technology or a service, when you want to partnership with others, you know, you can always bargain better. And you also get exclusivity for these products and services. And you get higher monetary returns. That is what my earlier speakers also yes. gave a large number of examples. And the foremost thing is that you will get legal protection against infringement. For example, if you have got a patent, a trademark or a copyright, if it is registered, if it is granted, you are getting a, a legal protection for that. If somebody copies, always you can go to court and get injunction or get, uh, they get uh, a penal. They, you can penalize the persons who copied your technology or your trademarks or your copyrights. So, so what are the benefits you get in general if you have an IP in your business as a startup or a SMEs, you know? So as we all know that if you have a patented product, you will get exclusive right on that product on the technology for a period of 20 years. So that is the biggest advantage for you and that gives a, an entry barrier for others to enter into this kind of a business. So that is why IP is very, very important. Patent is very, very important and also it improves your valuation. So see what happens when you have a startup company if you want to scale it up if you want to grow you always need to borrow money from equity investors or venture capitalists so when you go to them and if they look at your business business model your technology and if you have a patent they always give a higher valuation for your business for your company you know by that way you can get a higher premium for a giving a lower equity to them by giving a lower equity you get a higher money for your company so that you can keep it as a in your company for expansion modernization or scale up without losing control on your uh, business holding a major share in the company 
you will be able to attract money and also it attracts investors to make investments and protects the investors interest so this is also another benefit if you have a patent or a copyright or a trademark in your business when investors comes into your company to invest if you have this protection of all the intellectual property their investment is also protected they also get confidence yes this company has got a very less or more entry barriers others cannot enter into this business and the technology behind it is a very scientific proven innovation innovative technology so that that way they will their investments are protected and they will show more interest to invest in your company as i and also if you have a, a ip protected you will also a protection against as a defensive as well as offensive defensive in the sense tomorrow you are successful in your business somebody may come and say that you have copied my technology i will see you in that case if you have got a patent or a trademark or a copyright you can always show it to them i have not copied your technology government of india has granted a right to me on my technology on my know how on my trademarks i have not copied it so that way it will protect your business and also it provides a new revenue stream through licensing franchising and a sale no that is another major important and also if you want to export products to developed economies ip is a must without ip protection or with the product doesn't have a ip they will not buy it because it may be spurious also it doesn't give confidence to the consumers that is why ip is a must for exporting business and also it increases your negotiating power through cross licensing or joint venture agreements if you want to sign a joint venture agreement if you have got ip always you will be at a advantageous position and if you look at major companies in the world and their capitalization market capitalization if you look at 85% of the market capitalization of this large companies have come from the intangible assets like ips for example if you look at uh, microsoft you know 95% of the company value has come from this intangibles like the ips the people the uh, their uh, customers you know only 5% of the company value which in the form of a land building and other fixed assets and also we know how important in the current pandemic times the intellectual property rights related to covid 19 so people who have come out with a covid 19 vaccine they are making money a lot of money huge money so all governments are buying this covid vaccine and people who have holding the intellectual property rights on that so in combating covid 19 challenges also this ip has really helped a lot to save the humanity so ip is such an important tool for all of us so the trademark again i don't want to spend too much time on the the process and the basic concepts of trademark the trademark act 1999 it is an act statutory act which has clearly defined the processes the procedures the rights the liabilities what all required to get out of this trademark have been very well articulated in the trademark act and i would not like to spend too much time on this type they have already been talked about it but as far as trademarks and uh, startups or msmes are concerned all startups or all msmes they can register a trademark or as an intellectual property right that they are capable of creating protecting and enforcing because every business has a trademark or a logo or any other ma- mark that distinguishes them from their peers among the customers and clients that is the definition of a trademark so what it uh, means is that this exclusivity allows the msmes or startups to attach goodwill the trademarks basically create a goodwill or a quality product service to that market at lower price and they build the loyalty that is how the brand valuation the brand is built for all these startups and msmes the trademarks is such an important tool and if you look at some of these examples to make you understand the concepts of uh, all these uh, four types of uh, intellectual property rights if you look at the simple pressure cooker what we use in our day to day life it has been protected through four different types of intellectual property rights the making of uh, the pressure cooker you know the composition of the pressure cooker it is protected through patent rights and uh, the handles and the shapes are all protected through design the premier the name of the pressure company the cooker company the premier uh, premier uh, prim, uh, the cooker name you know which is making this uh, pressure cooker prestige for example that name is uh, protected trade, trademark 
and the literature of the booklets what they put it in the uh, uh, pressure cooker the, the how to use it what kind of precautions you should take all those things are protected through copyrights so if a more number of ips are embedded in your product or a service it would be more robust and it is uh, better for the product or better for the company so that you will be able to have a better brand value for your product and trademarks similarly if you look at the gillette mac 3 uh, razor blade which is again protected through 35 patents three designs and three copyrights so one product has got 35 patents you see the complexity of the technology involved in this similarly if you look at the coca cola because they are all day to day life you see all these things you know again this coca cola is also very very uh, much talked uh, intellectual property rights are embedded in this coca cola again the way they write coca cola is protected through copyright the shape of the bottle you know protected through design and the language or uh, the coca cola the, the way they write it you know a, a name also can be a protected in a trademark it is a trademark and the composition of the coca cola the, uh, the formula uh, the composition of the coca cola is protected through a trade trade secret this is one of the very well quoted example for a trade secret coca cola composition is a, a very well established trade secret and you may also ask a question whether this coca cola composition can be protected through patent also yes of course it can be protected through patent but it is up to you whether you wanted to protect that composition that formula as a patent or a trademark it depends upon your choice see there are advantages and disadvantages of going for either trademark or a patent if it is a patent you have to disclose the formula at the composition you put it in the public and you will get a protection for that that protection is only for 20 years but whereas if you are able to keep that as a trade secret its life is endless you know sadranga you are able to maintain the secret so there is no expiry date for a trade secret but whereas for a patent there is an expiry date so that is the advantage is promoters of the coca cola they have chosen to protect through this trade secret but trade secret is protected through a contract act there is no act like uh, copyright act or trademark act or patent act trade secrets are held by way of contract acts similarly if you look at in our day to day life again we see the target paste what we use it again this is also protected through different types of intellectual property rights the paste composition is protected through patent whereas other all the designs the copyrights and uh, trademarks are been used to protect this knowledge so the benefits of trademarks if you look at it it uh, basically attracts customers and creates an image of your product in the minds of the people and substantial value of the product is due to the trademark a trademark protects goodwill that is nothing but an intangible asset of a company or that is also equivalent to a brand so brand is built on several factors one is the the goodwill the visibility the market share the loyalty factor uh, the customer base all these things will add to estimating the brand value of a product of a company so tm also that is what we see trademark gives legal rights to your business and serves as a marketing tool and whatever legal protection we get for patents similar benefits one can get from registered trademark under the trademark act so securing a registered trademark protects your brand and provides you with tools to prevent someone using similar signs and riding off the back of your business so that is a major advantage so these are all very popular trademarks uh, which have also been discussed by my other speakers these are all the spurious products are the copying uh, similar kind of a uh, labels they put it to uh, deceive the people you know and people always go to the courts and they get injunctions they get uh, directions saying that you should not you cannot market it like that several cases have been discussed about it so the important point is that the valuation of the brand particularly when we are talking about a company the brand value it is also very very important to understand how do you evaluate the brand of a company you know there are basically there are three ways the way we value the patents the same methods are also used to value you a brand of your company like the cost based brand evaluation so cost based brand valuation means it is like a cost based valuation 
is similar to saying that a home is worth the amount of money it took to build and furnish it. So that is nothing but a, the amount you spent to build the house, you know, that is what we call it is a cost based brand valuation. Similarly, uh, one way of estimating the brand value is that how much money you spent for marketing, creating, registration and maintaining it. That is what it is based on, like a cost based brand valuation. The second uh, approach is that market based brand valuation. Market based means uh, it is similar similar kind of product, how much it is going to cost in the market. You know? In the neighborhood, suppose you want to buy a house in a, a particular area, how that house is priced in that area, based on that one will take a decision. That is what we call as a market based brand valuation. The third one is the income approach to brand valuation. So, for example, if you bought a house, how much rent it can earn? So, based on that, one can estimate the value of that property, you know, using the different uh, methods like uh, discounted cash flow or the net present value methods. Using those things, you can also assess the brand value or the property value or the asset value. So, these are basically three approaches used in assessing the brand. So, highly valued top three Indian brands, we all know that one is a Tata, which is about 20 billion dollars, is the brand value alone, followed by LIC and Reliance. These are the top three brands in India. If you look at internationally, the top three brands are Apple, Google, and Microsoft. All of them are in the range of 200 dollars and above, 200 billion dollars and above. This is brand valuation. So, some examples I would like to give here uh, that are related to trademarks. There is a big basket and also there is a daily basket, which is a, a company somewhere in Coimbatore. They also uh, have a, a logo called daily basket, which is similar lines to the big basket. So, the big basket went to the court and filed a case against them saying that they are imitating us. So, they also have a basket. We have also a basket. People are getting confused on this. So, we, ours is a registered uh, trademark. So, the court gave an injection saying that you cannot uh, use the uh, daily basket, uh, the logo, you cannot use the basket in your uh, logo and they uh, gave an order saying that you cannot use that anymore. So, like that, once you have got a registration, you can always go to the courts or the uh, regulatory authorities, you can get it relief from that. Similarly, another example, we are all very familiar the Starbucks versus Sardarbucks dispute. Again, Starbucks is a very uh, popular uh, brand for coffee, you know. There is one uh, uh, shopkeeper or a coffee shop owner in uh, Delhi. Uh, he also started in the similar lines of a Starbucks. He named it as a Sardarbucks dispute. So, Starbucks and Sardarbucks, you know, they are similar. So, they also approached to the Delhi High Court and Delhi High Court granted an interim injunction against a, a startup which was running in coffee outlets of Delhi and CR under the name Sardarji Baksh. As a result, the defendant had to rebrand all its outlets to Sardarji Baksh Coffee and Co. So, such kind of cases you can see in the literature. So, recent thing is uh, the Patanjali Coronels, you know, uh, there is one company, private company. In Chennai, it is called uh, Arudra Engineering Private Limited. They had registered their trademark in the name of Coronel, but uh, Patanjali, they uh, developed a product that immune booster, they named it as a Coronel. And this uh, uh, entrepreneur, Arudra Engineering Private Limited, approached the Chennai High Court. Chennai High Court gave a, an interim order saying that you have to stop using that, and also they put a, a, a penalty of 10 lakhs on, on the trademark infringement uh, done by the Patanjali. Of course, now the uh, case has been gone to Supreme Court. Uh, by now, I think uh, Supreme Court also might have disposed this case. We have to see what was the outcome of that. Similarly, there is also a case like the Make My Trip, Pick My Trip and Make My Yatra. There are all similarities, you know. There are uh, amounts to infringement only. Again, uh, make my trip approach to the uh, authorities and uh, the court have restrained others to use similar kind of trading or trade names which is spoiling the goodwill or which they are piggy back on the goodwill earned by the uh, make my trip, which is very reputed and popular. 
So another example I would like to give here is that Mr. Shah also mentioned about this. This is a Navarakshak PPE kit. The Navarakshak is the trade name we all selected. And one doctor who was a, a practicing doctor at Armed Forces Medical College, you know, when the, when the peak time of Corona, India was importing these PPE kits. Those PPE kits were not at all really performing well because they are not breathable, because they were coated inside with the polymer layer. So as a result of that, the PPE kits were not breathable and uh, causing a lot of problem for the wearers of that PPE kits. People are even used to faint also because of suffocation. So this doctor uh, analyzed the problem and identified a suitable uh, fabric, suitable uh, stitching technique and designed a, a PPE kit, different models. And the PPE kit, what he made, was tested in different places and we also I uh, applied for the regulatory authorities approval like ICMR approval and Minister of Health and Family Welfare approval. Anything goes into the Corona times, uh, ICMR and uh, Minister of Fam Health and Family Welfare approval is required. So we also taken up these uh, prototypes with them. They were tested as per the standards uh, in way and it has met all the specifications stipulated by the government. So once it was approved, then we also licensed this technology to about five, six, com six companies across the uh, country. And now each company is making the 10 million PPEs per year. And now during the Corona time, India was uh, importing the total PPE kits requirement. Now India has emerged as one of the exporter of the PPE kits because of our in innovators uh, creativity and support from the government and also support from the many R&D institutions. See, coming to the patents, now the trademarks is over, now coming to the patents. Again, patents role in business is also phenomenal. Now, the bulb, electric bulb, which was in, in, invented by Edison in uh, 1879, you could see the impact it made on our society, and our lives, you know. Similarly, patents, as uh, our earlier uh, friends mentioned, patent need not be very high tech, you know. Simply, if you look at the Coca-Cola can opening, you know, there is a small kind of a uh, lever. If you push it, it goes down and opens the Coca-Cola can. That small kind of a mechanism, mechanical uh, mechanism, was uh, invented by one person in the UK, and he commercialized or he licensed this uh, patent to Coca-Cola and many other uh, soft drink companies. And he has put a royalty on each of these uh, can openings about. Uh, 10 cents uh, or 10 penny for a can and he was getting about 1,48,000 UK pounds per day as a royalty from this simple mechanical device, the Coca-Cola opening, you know, cans opening. Such a, a simple thing has transformed the entire uh, uh, soft drink industry and also made the inventor very rich over a period of time. Similarly, the post-it notes, the, the yellow slips, of what we use, is the accidental invention of the 3M again. Uh, the adhesive, what they have developed was not really strong. It was not meeting the requirements, what they intended. But they found a utility in making this post-it pads. Again, a huge market. So, the point I would like to communicate to all the students or the youngsters, the faculty members is that if you are able to identify a problem and try to develop a simple solution to that, it is a worthy of a patent. It, it, it may be able to create value for it and if you are able to monetize it, it can bring a lot of revenues to the inventors. So IP and one example I would like to give here in a, a study was conducted by the USPTO, how the intellectual property rights helped the startup community or MSME community, what kind of impact they made on their economy. This was a report available in the USPTO website. If you look at, they studied around 100, uh, 150,000 uh, MSMEs and startup companies and they found out these uh, results out of that study. So what they found out is that these IP based uh, startup companies have supported 45 million high paid jobs that is equivalent to about 30% of the US jobs have been created by the startup companies in US and they contributed 6 trillions of economy, that is about 38% of their GDP of USCS come from the IP based startup companies. And without a trademark or a brand registration, even Amazon doesn't sell any product in the e-marketplace. Not only Amazon, 
none of the e-commerce companies they don't sell your product if you don't have a trademark or a, a brand registration or a intellectual property in your product or a service the startups and msmes earn 32 percent more revenue compared to the counterparts who are not having ip based products this is also another big motivator for a startup companies to embrace ip in their processes and products and services so ip is a really intellectual currency helping to promote economic growth company competitiveness and innovation worldwide so that is the power of ip and uh, i would also like to give few examples patent or prosper some examples you know so that shah who is aware of all these things at one point of time uh, we have been talking about these examples in many places if you look at dan bricklin he invented the uh, the spreadsheet program you know but he has not patented it or is not protected it through intellectual property rights as a result it has become a a open ended or a, uh, a free uh, spreadsheet for everyone you know so as a result he lost millions of dollars had he patented it he would have made millions out of it the way microsoft ms office or ms word they are selling you know he would have also made lot of money but he missed that opportunity because he did not patented it or he did not protected it using any of this intellectual property rights again if you look at kodak paid over 900 million us dollars for infringing a polaroids instant camera patent so that is also another problem if you don't have that awareness and if you also reinvented and it was amounting to equivalent to the existing patent so is they started using it and finally this uh, polaroid and kodak they fought each other and courts have imposed a huge penalty on them and as another example you can see is that uh, the stanford university uh, a, a, just three patents of stanford university have earned around 150 million us dollars for the university this is a gene splicing technique they have invented in the university this technology they have licensed to hundreds of uh, uh, startup companies and uh, academic institutions across the globe to make cut to splice the genes you know this is such a uh, important uh, and uh, platform technology it was licensed to many companies similarly if you look at dr anjali reddy uh, dr reddy's laboratories they licensed a molecule to novo nordisk for a 55 million so that that is how the ip made them rich huh? texas instruments was saved from bankruptcy in 1992 because it turned 391 millions from their patent licenses so that is how the monetization of patents helped them to make money out of their intellectual property rights similarly emerich an organization with just five people and two pcs has earned 50 million by licensing its single patent to 400 companies you know what is the product about it and these are some of the success uh, stories of a patented technology licensing by nrdc there are thousands of technologies nrdc in fact a, a storehouse of innovations and technologies and any entrepreneur as dr shahu mentioned wanted to become an entrepreneur wanted to start a business based on a technology the one stop shop for all the entrepreneurs is nrdc you ask any technology if it is available readily in their database they will give it to you if it is not there also they can scout for the technology they can give it to you they can hand hold you till you are able to establish your company manage it successfully that is a kind of a, a beautiful wonderful organization has been created by government and many people unfortunately are not aware people who are come to know about nrdc many people got benefit out of nrdc's technology services support systems there are many technologies like indelible link now when you go for election they put a ink on our finger that technology was licensed to be nrdc to a small startup company msm msme company in uh, mysore mysore paints similarly the Abu, amul baby milk powder the 10 and 20 hp tractors the swaraj tractors you know which was again a licensed to be nrdc anti arthritis ointment developed by nish jorahat artificial heart valve disposable blood bag systems glucose biosensor like that there are thousands more than 5000 technologies have been commercialized by nrdc and majority of these technologies are protected through variety of intellectual property rights you know out of nrdc licenses you know about uh, 10000 crores revenue has been generated by all these companies 
by selling their products in the market and they have created nrdc technologies they have created an employment opportunity for about 1 lakh people and they have also collected about 100 crores royalty which was ploughed back to the research institutions universities from where nrdc has sourced all these technologies during the last 10 years so this is the kind of a benefit one can really realize if you have got a, a patented technology in your hand so this is also very very important as far as patents are concerned you know patents again gives a legal right now that is a right what is the right we get once you get a patent you get a legal right what do you mean by the legal right if somebody copies your technology you can go to the court file a case against them and fight against them and you will get a remedy you know or a relief out of against your patent rights and if you look at this market is so mature now every day so many cases are being filed see for example apple amazon atnt google dell hdc samsung microsoft lg hp these are all the major multinational companies who work on innovation and they file patents and some companies like apple and samsung they copy each other's patents and they also file cases against each of them sometimes you know copying is much easier than inventing it getting a patent so let us copy it into the court says that uh, you have copied and you have to pay penalty they will pay for penalty by the time but they will learn uh, their good will they enter into the market so there is a, it has become a strategic game plan by some of these major corporates and if you look at uh, the companies uh, who fought and who won in this right side of the table lansanto versus dupont again uh, uh, you know this is a, a seed company and uh, they copied uh, uh, the other ones uh, technology and uh, monsanto filed a suit against them and they have won a case against dupont and they have been asked to pay a, a billion dollars penalty for infringement of their patent similarly apple and samsung apple and samsung there are so many cases uh, astrazeneca and apotex two way media versus atnt pact xpp versus gilinex Uh, like that, if you look at the literature, you will find so many cases, and this field, in fact, is uh, emerging as a very fertile field for uh, patent attorneys and uh, uh, legal professionals to make money out of this patent fighting cases or patent infringement cases. And if you look at uh, the relation between patents and GDP of our countries, this is a, an indirect correlation. Uh, we have proposed here is that countries which have got large patent portfolio they too have a large economies you know for example if you look at china and usa china files around 15 lakh patents you know and if you look at their uh, gdp around 14.14 trillion us dollars similarly usa they file around 6.5 to 7 lakh patents now their economy is 21.4 uh us dollar trillion dollars you know of course the us patents have got a much uh, face value market value the valuations are much higher that is why they are able to come out with a very innovative products at a higher price that is how they are contributing to the economy if you are able to bring new products new services into the market which can be sold at a high premium obviously they contribute to the socio economic development of the country similarly if you look at japan germany they too have a sizable uh, Uh, size of their gdp about 4 to 5 trillion us dollars and if you look at their patent portfolio germany has got about uh, 6.78 uh, lakh patents japan has got around 3.13 lakh patents whereas india we have only 50000 patents and our economy is around 2.94 trillion us dollars and also the sad part of our indian patent filing is that out of the 50000 patents i think around 75 to 80 percent patents or maybe around 70 to 75 percent patents are filed by mnes and foreign nationals in our country only the 25 to 30 percent patents are filed by indian residents whereas if you look at uh, china's uh, uh, intellectual property office more than 90 percent of the patents filed by the local residents so this has to be uh, changed if you want to emerge as a leader in the innovation and innovative products and of course copyright many people have talked about it again the copyright act 1957 has clearly articulated all the processes all the benefits all the remedies available i would not like to spend more time on this because of lack of time 
but as far as uh, startups are concerned how the copyrights are important or useful because copyrights are basically used in other uh, industry but not in the manufacturing sector much except it is limited to preparing the manuals or uh, literature and uh, things like that now but copyright is useful tool for small uh, startups particularly for protection of drawings architecture plans blueprints compilations paintings of course music painting softwares and all uh, manuals you know as i mentioned to you brochures pamphlets marketing literature so all these things are very very important uh, uh, in uh, startups and where copyrights play an important role there are again there are several uh, cases can be cited over here uh, related to copyright there is a movie called jund movie you know it is in a, uh, a case was uh, filed in telangana high court saying that somebody has copied the theme or somebody's life which is already been telecasted again once you approach to the court courts will examine the merits of the case and they give a stay order on that saying that it cannot be done that similarly there is another important thing we should know particularly in the area of copyright the law has recently promulgated by the courts the dynamic injunctions this is very very important see every day we find in a website somebody carry infringing infringing content in our different types of uh, websites you know copying trademark on different people copyrights and trademarks are copied and reflected in their websites and all those things so to restrain such kind of practices or uh, prevent such kind of infringements uh, courts have given a, a standing order saying that if anyone every time one need not go to the court for uh, seeking a remedy you know this is such kind of a revolutionary judgment uh, this court has given delhi high court saying that uh, this is standing order has been given uh, there is no need to go to court every time if you find somebody infringed your material your uh, knowledge your content your trademark in some of the websites simply go to go to the joint register of the delhi high court and file an application and they will grant you injunction or stay order based on the already granted uh court direction in this you know this is a startup should keep aware or keep abreast such kind of developments so you all know that who are all these people how they made money out of their intellectual property rights similarly again they are the are rich uh, right owners or copyright owners you know the harry potter the money she made out of uh, her books similarly the three idiots book you know mr chetan bagan uh has the copyrights and uh, they made a movie out of it so each is a bundle of rights you get from a copyright it can be telecasted as a movie or it can be as a novel so different uh, bundle of benefits you will get each one will give a, a reward to the copyright owners similarly uh this is very very important copyright mistakes to be avoided by the startups see when you form a startup there will be three four founders will come together bring their knowledge and start the venture but one precaution you should take is that if you are taking an ip of one founder member as a part of your business you should have a clear cut assignment deed signed before formation of a company otherwise what happens is that if you differences arise among the founders at a later point of time and that will go can uh, one of the founder can go out can see you against that saying that this is my ip and this uh, startup is using it without my permission without my consent without paying anything sir sir sorry to interrupt you sir please conclude sir yes, yes. so that we will take some question answer yeah yeah i have i concluded my talk you can now uh, go for question answers okay so i request any participant having any questions they can our um, Experts are available. Any participant having any question, they can ask. Sir, I received some question in chat. What is the procedure need to be adopted if our branding logo got copied? What is the procedure need to be adopted if our branding logo yeah, got yeah. copied? Yeah, you need to. Your jurisdiction, you are coming there. you can uh, file a case against him in the that jurisdiction court you know it's not just yeah right, okay so
so i think uh, there is no questions and uh, we will uh, so we are going to conclude our meeting today's meeting so finally i uh, special thanks i will give to trident academy of technology principal trident academy of technology who has uh, associated with us for our program and uh, it's a first time mane uh, most of the people say x cannot be 4x but we tried to make it x is 4x in our one program we webcasted 3 to 4 center and our intention to reach to the corner of odisha also but even uh, one of our college uh, git gurpur is also participated and uh, in our program so we wanted to prove that yes through the media through technology we are able to reach to the corner of the corner of every corner of odisha so i thank to git university gurpur institute of pharmacy and technology uh salepur also we, i would like to thank to the principal who has uh, uh, who associated with msme di katak for our program and uh, we are also seeing the video sir sir is uh, with us in our program and i also all the participant who are uh, sitting in the imt hall of msme di katak and uh, through webcast they are also there uh, i thanks all uh, college and uh, university who associated with us our, for our program then uh, i convey my thank to our director because of uh, director uh, pk gupta sir because of which i mane uh, con i conducted this type of program by webcasting in 3 to 4 center then uh, my uh, sincere thanks to mayan sir sir who is registered patent ag uh, agent and because of cpm i come to interact with him and uh, thank you sir thank you for your presentation yeah i accepted some because of the technical problem we are not able to hear you Uh, but uh, sometime in disturbance so some voice disturbance i receive but okay somehow finally we mane uh, very well very nicely presented sir your presentation is very very good and you have given very good example through photographs so that is a very uh, wonderful experience for us then uh, our own uh, sk korasa dr sk korasa i sir convey my sincere thank you to you sir you are there with every, with every time with us we are uh, very pleased sir because of your effort we able to conduct this type of program and we uh, we are confident that we will continue this type of work in future also and because uh, we are blind we mane uh, we have the blind belief that kora sir is there with always uh, with us then uh, i convey my thanks to bk sahu sir dr bk sahu at the 11th hour when uh, purushottam sir is phone is disconnected immediately i realize and telephone to uh, bk sahu bk sahu sir to sir please uh, join and you interact with the participant immediately he joined and interacted so uh, that's a so that there will be no stop and we continue uh, with our webinar with smooth functioning of the webinar and we continued and uh, last but not the least our purushottam sir uh, former uh, ipr chair professor andhra university former chairman and managing director nrdc government of india sir i uh, thank you for your uh, beautiful presentation you have uh, very nicely elaborate everything uh, so um, so with this uh, we will conclude our program and uh, i uh, all the msme all the student i once again thank you for your patience so we will conclude our program today's program thank you all sir thank you all if anyone want to convey anything you can convey sir otherwise we close our meeting hello uh salepur college anything you want to mention sir sir i would like to know that myself baba principal institute of pharmacy and technology salepur sir thank you all and for your team and uh, organizing this sbc and a nice presentation nice seminar and all my students are highly benefited and uh, when i interact with them now everybody the high is just to you uh both for one and the other for the same material and the same person sir at least i to all and this continue and our best wishes for you and for some good and all that okay thank you thank you sir thank you sir we are expecting that uh, same type of support in future program also so yeah. thank you thank you very much sir with this uh, we conclude our programs With this, we also thank Mr. Santosh Kumar Sahu for our excellent coordination and support. Sir, 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 s
एमिनेंट स्पीकर टू दिस प्लेटफॉर्म थैंक यू मिस्टर संतोष थैंक यू सर सर ये ये हमारे कोशिश है सर कि हम ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चों के साथ जुड़ सके और अच्छे से अच्छा प्रोग्राम कर सके ये हमारा एक कोशिश है ठीक है आगे भी जारी रहेगा सर सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वी विल वाइंड अप आवर प्रोग्राम थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर ओके ओके मयंक सी यू अगेन